Right, so here we are, we've got the Amtrak uh, down Easter. You have a very short and very easy shift today. You're stopped at mile post 206 and are ready to keep heading north to the Portland Amtrak station. Your train is currently ahead of schedule, so do your best to keep it that way. Waiting for the brakes to come off. Of course, track IR isn't working, so I can't look down. There they come. Nearly there. Oh, I see. We've got an NPCU on the back. Or a, a sort of a fake stand-in for an NPCU on the back. A cabbage car. I love that name. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Brakes. Release. Thank you. Welcome back Frisco and uh, welcome to Zaragonart and Batista and PJT1974. We're doing one more scenario tonight. Portland Transport Centre, 9.4 miles. Captain Bob says, is this a workshop scenario? It certainly is. So this scenario is called um, um, Amtrak Down Easter hash 683, number 683, and it is by MILW Guy. MILW underscore Guy. So again, that is the uh, Amtrak Down Easter hash 683. formation coming up here. Unfortunately the route isn't workshop, this is the Portland Terminal route which is a, uh, a full uh, route DLC. So originally it was by um, G-Trax, Rick Grout, as was the uh, P42DC originally. Running on level ground, so it's not particularly challenging road in terms of uh, throttle at the moment. Uh, welcome to BH Reskins.
Right, that's over that great crossing. We've still got the high ball, so we're carrying on. Hey, Lokash. Welcome to the stream this evening. Whoopsie daisy. There's a nice mix of stock that comes with this one, Captain Bob, as well, including um, Pan Am, which is uh, unusual. Uh, I think there's Boston and Maine stock with it as well, uh, and there's uh, there's another there's one of the GE44s that um, DTM did is in Boston and Maine livery, and it comes to scenarios for this route as well. I quite like the old Boston and Maine livery, certainly on the GE44s, it was very nice. The foliage on this route is really nice, and there's some nice colours on it as well. Um, it's not just all green, there's some um, nice different shades of green, but there's also some sort of yellowy colours. It's very nicely done. this is So Fringe Star asks, why do some US routes drive on the left, some on the right? Generally it is the right, however the uh, some routes, um, some uh, lines are designed to work um, bi-directionally. Uh, and in that case, it's uh, there's generally reasons for it. So you think it's left and right. It's actually they're two different lines. One of them is uh, like a a steep at the different grades. Diff uh, generally, why is the emergency brake car? Oh, don't tell me DSD has gone off. Oh, not DSD, the alerter. Of course, this thing's got an alerter, hasn't it? I totally forgot this has got an alerter. <laughs> I'll wait for the brakes to come off now. Heated debate going on in the chat about uh, HS1 and HS2. That great big, that great big topic. Oh, do come on, brakes! Just waiting for this left-hand bar to come down to zero. again. What's ours? Oh, okay, we just have that one station in five miles and that's it.
Here he comes. Let's just check signalling uh, the track, make sure that we're, uh, we're actually got a sane route. Appears that way. So while we're running, then let's just have a quick look at the map. Quite a lot going on here. This route really does feature an awful lot of um, switching and yard work and all that sort of thing. There's a decent range of freight comes with this route as well, with the, uh, all the different um, railroads. Guildford and uh, Pan Am there. Some B&M. This is one of the locos that comes with the pack, I think. Main Central. Just got two miles now to Portland Transportation Centre.
We're at 30. There was no mention of it on the HUD, that's nice. Going under the highway. Nick, uh, so the Empire Builder um, was um, had a service that was um, it took a long time to build. So the Empire Builder actually went across the entire United States from east to west, or west to east, and um, it was um, but laid by so I can't remember his name now, but his name, his the name everyone referred to him was was the Empire Builder because of the empire he'd built. And um, so I think that's kind of where the service comes from. But yeah, Amtrak still run the Empire Builder. There's the original one, which was Great Northern. James, someone or other, um, who was the founder of Great Northern. Got a Guildford GP40 there by the looks of it. Is that a GP40? Nice DMRC. No, DMRC just said he went on the Empire Builder once to Montana. Very nice. Coming up on Portland Transportation Centre now. Quite like the track on this route as well. It's quite quite a nice design. And we're coming up to the platform. Press T, otherwise nothing's going to happen. <laughs> That's interesting, DMRC.
Yes, yeah, so let's just have a kind of quick look at the map while we wait for that to go on. So there we are here. This route looks like it carries on, but that's where it uh, that's where it uh, ends that way. So we've got the uh, this big yard here at uh, Rigby. We've got this Y. Got some more industries and things going on here. There's uh, lots of industry spurs around. A nice job staying on schedule. Go ahead and secure the train here. Scenario complete. Okay. I think that's about me done then, folks. Uh, I enjoyed that. Thanks very much for recommending that last scenario. That was really good. Uh, a nice little uh, half hour to uh, end the session off with. So, uh, I hope you've all enjoyed the show. I've certainly enjoyed the banter as usual and the drives. And I will uh, see you all tomorrow at... Did I see you tomorrow? Yes, I will see you tomorrow at 9.30 as usual. And um, I don't know if you all saw the uh, the announcement on the Dovetail Facebook. I'm just double checking what it said. Bear with me, folks. Yes, so the latest announcement um, posted earlier today is that the Grand Central 180 is coming tomorrow, or today now, actually. <laughs> so uh, I will be showing the uh, Grand Central 180 uh, as released um, in tomorrow's show, uh, and we can have another good look at it. Right, well, as I said, that's me done for the evening now, so uh, let's go to the finished sign. Yay, I've got a proper finished thing now. Thank you very much, everybody, and I will see you all tomorrow at 21.30. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.